really super special moment for me. I, I ran into one of my Instagram idols today. This oh, is whatever. this is the Gina oh my goddess. The Gina goddess, right? Where, how did you come up with the name Gina goddess? <laughs> it's Gina goddess. <laughs> the Gina goddess. <laughs> it's not Gina goddess. I'm here at the Agua Caliente Resort with my man Cody from Octane Nutrition. We are at the Ferrigno Classic right now. My man's competing. How yes. you feeling? Feeling good. Feeling good? I'm good, I'm carved up, I'm ready to go. He's carved up, he's ready to go. Totally. No, he's half out of his fucking mind right now because I've depleted him down to nothing. And then I gave him sweet carbs. Yes. Sweet carbs. Agave nectar, the Fun. nectar of the gods, yes. and his veins are about to come out. We won't show you that though. We won't show him that. Not yet. Can I hug you? And then he's video. getting hugs from this beautiful is... women all over the place. <laughs> You're on video. Oh. <laughs> that is the power I have over people. My clients all get hugged by beautiful women everywhere. Boys, it's first time, first show in about four years. About four years, yeah. How are you feeling? I feel good. Um, I even had a little jitters when I went out the first, uh, the first leg there, uh, which was a, to be expected, not being on stage before yet. Um, came back, those were gone right after the first. Chris adjusted a few things on my posing, and then I uh, went back and I thought we had a way better show in the second. Uh, and, uh, so all in all, I feel well. Health feels good. Big thing was, uh, so, so as far as everything goes, Cody's a little bit taller, so it's harder to carve up taller guys. Um, for some reason, shorter guys, they'll pump up and you put a little base on them and everything like that, and they're good. Taller guys, a lot harder to carve up, and I think it might have to do with uh, genetic predisposition for digestion. It could be anything. I could guess a million different things right now. But we had a little bit of a hard time coming up because things were moving really slow. What was happening backstage was, in the last few hours, we've had him eating a lot, just putting carbs down, putting carbs down, in order to pull some of that water, try and get some veins out, try and fill them out. He's not the kind of type of guy who needs to be pumping up backstage. It's uh, <coughs> posing, uh, practicing posing, practicing the muscle muscle memory. Um, and as we were posing backstage, everything started coming out. Uh, you know, everything down from the serratis all the way down to his obliques. His legs were coming out, everything was looking really good. <coughs> Just a little bit of jitters. Uh, even experienced people get jitters when they haven't been on stage in a while. And uh, honestly, I think it did a fantastic job. We're going down to Grilla Burger. I've got um, three hitchhikers in the back. Um, one who came with us because her car is. Um, stunk up because of dirty hippies that she picked up and then we're gonna do mushrooms and ayahuasca together at the same time everybody's eating their burgers Zach is eating his burger even if you never saw the show you missed all the commentary so we're back here in Cody's room and we got a little audience. What's going on here? You do? Uh, we got a not a real audience. Anyways, <laughs> um, <laughs> so we're in between the day show and the night show right now. And so we came up with a super secret strategy to harden Cody up. Check him out. He's, he's way harder right now. And so what we did was, he, as I said, he had a real hard time filling out. So we got 
what do we get? Cheeseburger. Union. Cheeseburger, a very large basket of fries, two wines, and a water. And what else? And I've had about six vodkas and soda water. Six vodkas and soda waters, my friend. So I feel good. Yes. He's good. So he's, he's feeling pretty good. good right now and, and a little bit of cheesecake. Hard I did have a couple bites. Um, but it's really just, I've already put on, I don't know, six pounds since this morning. So, yeah. So uh, now I'm starting to fill up. So uh, by tomorrow, I should be super full. Yeah. In the last, uh, the last 72 hours of prep, that's the biggest freaking part of looking good on stage. And for most of you who don't understand this, bodybuilding is a fucking illusion, right? And, and I'm not saying that facetiously. What I'm saying is that most of you don't understand a lot of the guys you see on the cover models, the magazine covers, they don't stay like that for long. And there's a giant process of dehydration and removing water. So for all those, those of you who have like this fucking desire to be under 5%, it's really not realistically sustainable, right? Not for not for any length of time. No, not for any length of time. And you know? so, 10% is a healthy body fat percentage. Yes. That's a good body fat percentage you can perform at. And um, you know, I think that's uh, I think that's a great point. Um, we learned a lot about my body this mm -hmm. time, and absolutely um, how we can do things different next time. Right. Um, uh, as far as filling up the whole process, right. we learned a ton and. Uh, I think we both did. Right. And, we're, uh, we're taking notes, and, yeah. and uh, for the next show, he's going to harden up a lot easier yeah, because we know, we know exactly what we need to do. So. And just a uh, bottle of Tito's. <laughs> Some so Here with Cody. Cody took third place in his class, and we're backstage right now. We just want to talk a little bit about this prep. Um, this guy came down from what weight to what weight? 287 to 225. So he lost about 50, over 50 pounds. 52 pounds. 52 pounds. That's absolutely crazy. How long was the prep for? We which we started together what, about five months ago. Yep. 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 Five month prep. Lost 50 pounds. Um, the big thing was uh, just getting back to conditioning. When was the last time you competed prior to this? Be uh, 2012. So about four years. About four years ago. Yeah. And uh, last time he competed, he was actually on stage with uh, C.T. Fletcher and, Chris, yeah. and uh, Chris Mines. Bunch, yeah, uh, Chris, Chris Mines, Mines from the show here. Bunch yes. of guys, and um, you know it's been a while since the last time he competed, and you know he spent some time in bulk, bulk up mode, kind of oh, permanent bulk, definitely bulk up mode. Bulk. You know what I mean? And so when you do that, it requires a longer prep. It requires a little bit more of a severe prep. But this prep for you, how was it hard? Was it? It wasn't really hard. Uh, you know, after meeting with you and talking with you and, and getting to learn our my body and blood work and what works for me and I, um, you know, just I couldn't ask for an easier prep. This wasn't, yeah. you know, a lot of preps I've been in in the past uh, with other coaches that just um, <coughs> you felt like you were dying. Uh, you yeah. didn't feel good. You were stressed out. Yeah. You're training, you know, two hours of cardio a, a day, and, and plus the workout and the diet and everything goes along with it. You know, we a completely different approach. Um, went into it, we very, very little cardio, really concentrated on the food, concentrating on my gut health, my intestinal health, um, which I've never felt better. Uh, owe that to this man. And, and we, we just kind of uh, didn't feel like that. I, didn't, I wasn't craving anything. I wasn't going like, oh my God, well, I can't wait to have fucking donuts after. I don't, it didn't bother me. On most days, what was your carbohydrate level at? It was like, probably what? what? What was it? One? I'm 100 grams. About 100 grams yeah. on the average day. Uh, and about half of that was from green leafy vegetables. Yeah. And the thing for that is, this is a big guy. I mean, uh, heavyweight class and was working out really hard with a low carbohydrate diet. What was fueling you? Fat. Fats. Exactly. Fats. A lot of fats. And what types of fats did I have to eat? So we had MCT oil, um, a lot of coconut oil, <laughs> yep. uh, stuff like um, Kerrygold, grass-fed butter, stuff like that. Um, those were my main fats. Yeah. I was eating a lot of beef, four <laughs> beef meals a day, yep. which I love. Grass-fed like, beef. All grass-fed, all organic. Everything we do now is organic, and I, I just feel better overall, especially awesome. the health-wise. Awesome, man. Uh, and just so you know, Cody is the owner and operator of Octane Nutrition in California. 
yeah. guys in the area that need to come check him out. Check um, it out. Check our website, OctaneNutrition.com. Absolutely. Jump absolutely. on there. And he's got his own team going on over there with a lot of great athletes. So look to see some great things from Cody coming up in the next few months and in the next few years. He's got a lot of years right. left in him. How old are you? 42. 42 years old. Outstanding. And a U.S. Air Force vet. I'm yes, sir. Cool. All right, you guys. This is us from the 3-0 Classic. Peace. Peace.